Hey everybody, Tony here. I just happened to come down into my basement, into what I kind of call my uh, bat cave here, uh, to put something away. And as I was looking around, you can kind of see I got a lot of stuff down here. But I realized I had a lot of extra things when I was going through a drawer. Uh, things that I've purchased in the past, and um, just some other things that I may not currently use in my get home bag or in my truck or uh, other items. So I decided that what I want to do is to actually take some of these remnants uh, and put together kind of a new get home bag. So stick with me here and I'll kind of show you what I came up with. All right, everybody, this is what I'm going to show you today here as far as uh, my new uh, get home bag or 24 hour bag that I use with just remnants that I had like, uh, you know, I've got drawers full of stuff here, you know, as you can kind of see, you know, from everything from fishing line and, you know, extra bags and trucks and fuel and what have you. So I kind of came together with this here is rather than having all these, you know, things kept in different cabinets and all over my house, my truck, my garage, etc., is I have a bunch of leftover bags, as you can see, as I got a couple up there. Um, but uh, this one I came together and put it together rather in about an hour. So I pulled some of these items together, taking into consideration again that I wanted, you know, shelter, ability for water, uh, fuel, uh, some ways with food. I've got some other things in here which I'll show you. But uh, you know, actually, I was quite pleased with what I came up with here. And uh, what I would invite from you, too, in the comment section is, uh, you know, kind of what you think I that I came up with, because these are all secondary items. This was not my initial, uh, you know, get home bag. It's kind of an old one that, you know, had, a, you know, the bag and, you know, some of the items. So uh, what you would either maybe in the comments delete and exchange or what you would put in here, I welcome the comments because I'm always editing these bags out. So let me get inside and kind of show you what I've got. And uh, hopefully you like what you see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the bag here. This is something that I got off of Amazon. Uh, it's an over-the-shoulder bag, as you can kind of see here. Uh, I like this style because what I want is something I can slip on and off real quick. I do have extra small backpacks in my truck, so if, that, if I needed to either throw this in something larger or switch, I could. But something that's going to basically be a 24-hour bag, I don't need that big. So I kind of like this method. The other thing I like about this is it's also got, if I need to take this thing off real quick, if I was straight or stuck on something, uh, I can kind of pop this little guy off here and uh, the shoulder strap comes off real quick. Um, I just put my name on here. I got one of these morale patches. I can't, I think it was like by Mutiny Bay or something of that nature, but uh, you know, it's just a little Velcro and uh, why not? Um, over here, I've got the clean canteen. Uh, this is the smaller size you can kind of see. Uh, what I like about this guy is it's got its own kind of, uh, you know, insulating cover. Uh, it is not lined, uh, so that way too, as I'm not going to try to open it one-handed. Um, but uh, I can boil water in this. I can't remember how many ounces, like the 16-ounce model. Uh, and it's also got a shoulder strap too. I keep this on because I could use this for, uh, you know, something else. Throw this over another shoulder if I wanted to kind of free up this little space here. But uh, anyhow, that is that for the clean canteen. So what I've got over here on the other side is I've got a more I light my fire. Uh, I really like this knife. The actual fire starter is here in the handle. I keep it carabined onto the side of a zipper here because if something were to happen, which I also do for uh, my water bottle, but if something were to happen to my knife when I'm walking, uh, that could be kind of a detriment. So I keep it so that way too is at least the knife, you know, is kind of stuck to the bag here and it kind of helps out. So, anyhow, let me see if I can get this guy off one-handed. Probably not. So, anywho. All right. Well, we'll forget about that for now. And just to show you what's on the side pouch here is I keep another space blanket. Uh, just again, too, for, you know, extreme situations. And let me get into this side pouch. Uh, AAA AA batteries. Um, this is my headlamp. 
I just got this at Lowe's. It's rather inexpensive because, again, these are my backup things that I have and, and have had some extras laying around. So these were either kind of floating around my basement in my truck or what have you. This guy, I think, was like 15 bucks. Uh, just another little simple pen light, just again for redundancy. So that is it for in here. Let me see. Empty there. And let's go here to the top for just a moment. Now this for comms because I had it in my truck. My other get home bag is, is uh, it's got my ham radio. I've got my license, but this is also a CB. What I like about this is I've got the uh, antenna in the bag here. This also has the weather. It's got emergency. So uh, this is a Cobra. I've had it for years. So I figured why not go ahead and throw that in there because I will typically uh, have a cell phone with me. But uh, at this point, too, is if something were to happen, plus if I want to just hear the weather, if I'm in a situation especially stranded because of weather, uh, that will help out. So let me get in here for a moment, and I'll show you what's in this pouch as well. Okay, what I have in this back pouch, as you can see, is this, you know, rather sizable pouch. Some people would use, uh, say, use concealed carry. Uh, if they have uh, something they wanted to put back there, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, you could do so. Uh, the nice thing about the back of this is it has some nice padding. I really am not sure what this little guy's for. It's got a little Velcro loop. But uh, padding and mesh right here, so that way it keeps it from rubbing up against your body and getting excessively hot. But what I have here are the 3mm, um, a uh, couple of the Glad Project, uh, you know, trash can liners. You can kind of see here the extra large bags. Uh, it's got down that what are they 33 inches by 48 they're three mil each you know 200 pound uh, strength on them these I did pick up today because I was trying to think of uh, um, shelter op options now down here I do have you know that I keep some tarps uh, I've got like uh, you know over there I've got some um, you know typical uh, tarps that you would use for camping or you know things of that nature but uh, again I didn't want to carry that guy so two of these I figured if by the time you split that, that'd be, you know, what, 66 by 96. If I were to take these and use some duct tape and cinch them together, or even, you know, one for the ground, one over my head, this would, you know, the two of these would be, uh, you know, justifiable, good, you know, shelter. So uh, I've got myself a gallon bag here, as well as a smaller sandwich bag. You can use it to collect water, protect items, what have you. Map of the United States, map of uh, my local county here. Um, keep them in a bag to protect them. A couple rubber bands. Somebody commented today on one of my uh, other projects that uh, to use hair ties, which I completely agree. I've got two females in the house, so I should have two, uh, you know, like the hair elastics, but my daughter just moved away to college. I can't find them. They used to be all over the floor, so for now, rubber bands. All right, in this little pouch here, let me see if I can get in there. I keep just a small little flashlight. Um, I got like five of these for like 15 bucks. You know, I can't even see what the, you know, ultra fire or something of that nature. Uh, I was just on this morning looking for something else, but, you know, they do have it to where you can kind of adjust the, the light. Um, got a nice little clip on them. I don't think that it's adjustable, so you couldn't clip this on a hat. That's why I do have a headlamp in there. Um, but again, too, is I like how you can kind of, you know, it's got different... You know, as you can see, you know, pulse. Um, sorry about that. But uh, threw that in. It's nice that it goes in this little side pouch, so it's readily available here. I like to keep the things that I would use most at my disposal. So there's that back pouch. I've got this one here. Showed you that, showed you that. Now on to this guy here. This I have it's just a simple medical kit. I got this. I actually picked it up today at REI as I have... This one here from Cabela's that a lot of times I'll take kayaking. It is uh, watertight. It's got a variety of items. But um, this one here, I'll just kind of freeze for a moment if you want to look through it. But, uh, you know, it does have different types of bandages, medications, ointments, and what have you. But it is meant for, you know, the day tripper for two people for one day. I figure 24-hour bag for two people. This would be good to have. And I, I like how it has this little handle I can, you know, carabiner it on. But I put it in that top pouch in case, you know, for emergency. I just yanked it right out, as you can kind of see. And uh, that's that. And then in here, too, is I've got the uh, N95 um, 
a mask that I've just got kind of rubber band up, made sure that I didn't, uh, you know, bend the thing for the nose. But um, just in case, I always carry uh, one of these in my pouch for whatever reason. If you do encounter something that requires you to protect yourself, um, first line of defense there. So we've gone through the outside packages or outside pouches rather. So now I'm going to go ahead and we'll start with some of these here. Uh, got myself a, oops, let me get this here. You know, got the magnifying lens. So that way too is I don't have the best eyes. Um, I need some things to read, but also too is if you need it to kind of a, you know, fire starter, get a splinter out, what have you, uh, reading a map, you know, for this guy here, that can come in handy. Old credit card, put some duct tape on it. I don't know how much, but also if I needed to kind of cinch together these liners, uh, you know, protect a cut, uh, cinch up something, you know, basically duct tape, it's duct tape, you know, I shouldn't need to educate somebody on that. Uh, in here, I also have, let me see if I get it out, just a simple, uh, you know, Coleman hooded poncho. If it were raining, just something, again, to it's inconspicuous rather than having something that looks, you know, kind of mill spec or what have you. But it could also be used for a variety of things, everything from catching rain to uh, creating a shelter, uh, just protecting gear, what have you. That is that. So now let me go ahead, and I like this part of it too, is this bag, again, I said I got from Amazon. I think it was only like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, I'll try to put it in the description below. I'd seen them by Maxpedition and a couple others that were uh, considerably more expensive, probably considerable higher quality. But since this is going to be something that's going to sit in the back of a car, a trunk, or a truck, or down here in my basement, uh, just for when I need it for travel, uh, I figured that, you know, to spend what I spent was justifiable in this case, uh, considering the funds I had at my disposal. So I'm going to try to get out what I can here, and then I'll pause for a moment. But I got a couple of the Mechanics Tactical Gloves. Um, that way I think it's always good to have these. But, uh, you know, they're nice leather, heavy duty if I need to grab something hot, you know, thorns, br you know, brush, what have you. Uh, but just tra traversing different obstacles, it's kind of nice to have these guys. Bandana, they are wrapped around a pair of readers. So again, for, you know, if I need to read anything, because right now I'm kind of squinting having to see, but uh, that's what I've got, just some simple readers. I think I picked them up at like CVS Drugs, wrapped up in a bandana to protect them, but a bandana, again, using from everything from a, you know, tourniquet to obvious headband, face protection in conjunction with my mask, filtering water, blah, 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 blah. It's just good to kind of have one of those, or if not, you know, a schmog is always nice, but if you can see, you know, the bulk difference between the two, that's why I chose this guy. Uh, save that for a bigger bag. Okay, uh, let me just get in here, and I'm gonna, as you can see, as I got things pretty well stuffed in here, I'm gonna lay the rest of these items out, and then we'll go over them here in just a second. All right, everybody, uh, I've got everything kind of laid out here so you can kind of see, you know, everything that went in the bag. But I'm going to pick up here is this baggie. I have just a few random items that I didn't want floating around. I've got a, uh, if you can see here, this is just a kitchen trash bag. Uh, again, just it's a redundancy, but, you know, to be able to protect my gear if I needed to, what have you. Got a rubber band around it. This is a small tea candle. Uh, just, you know light if I needed to, you know, keep a fire going here off of a match. Um, again, why not? Um, this is, I believe it's a Smith's uh, uh, knife sharpener. It's got the ceramic as well as the other end. I got that at a local gun store. Um, a little bit of a fishing line here. You can use it everything from fishing line to dental floss. Uh, but what I don't have in here right now is a fishing kit. I do have in my drawer here, you know, one of these guys that you can kind of, uh, pop it open and therefore it does have um, the uh, you know, whole fishing pole here in this little kind of portable thing. Uh, sounded like a good idea at the time. Kind of flimsy. I think I got it off of wish.com but uh, you know it's something you know kind of why not keep it around uh, but I decided I don't know if I'm going to go fishing. It's got a little mini uh, reel on it but fishing line again more for cinching tying what have you. Um, little Carmex. I've got water purification in here as well as another uh, bottle that I can use to collect water. So I've got multiple ways to collect it from, you know, baggies. I've also got the clean canteen that I can, you know, start off. And if I were to leave my truck, I always carry water in there. I'd fill that up, 
maybe fill that up with some clean water and then I got ways to collect water as I go and purify it. I do have in my other one a live straw. Maybe I'll get one of those. I also have, you know, the uh, Sawyer system here, but, and then a larger one, you know, over in the case. But for now, that's what I decided to put in here. Uh, I've also got, what is this? The, uh, you know, light my fire spork, kind of, not spork, but spoon, fork, knife combo. Uh, they're, you know, really uh, kind of flexible, but firm. Good for the go. I've got the cricket and the other one too. Uh, Again, just some simple food. Got a Cliff Bar, some energy, Starbucks coffee, a little lemonade, a cup of soup, uh, some oops, Jif peanut butter packets in there, but just enough for some calories to kind of get me through, and if nothing else, morale, but I'd also, in any situation, would try to secure food. Uh, this is just some simple uh, tape that I use for, uh, you know, to put on handles and things. I could also use it to improve my grip. I got like a six pack of this stuff off of, uh, I think it was either Geek or Wish.com for like a buck. So I've wrapped different, you know, tools with it just to protect my hands. Um, hand sanitizer, because of hand sanitizer, going to the restroom, just keeping germs off, but also uh, can be used to help start fires. Not that I'd waste it on that because I got plenty of other. A little bug spray. Um, I've got a right in the rain pad, but I figured on this is, I don't know how many notes I'm going to be leaving or what I'm going to be writing down 24 hours. I just want to get home. I threw a pencil in there because I don't have to worry about ink. You know, something happening to ink. I can use my knife and carve that off and sharpen it. But also I'll show you here in just a moment that I do have a sharpener for other reasons. But, uh, for now is also these things like post it, you can tear them off. And if you needed to stick them someplace, uh, extra fire, uh, you know, tinder, but that's that. I did go out and pick this up today. Uh, I saw these here. It's a stainless steel can that I can use to uh, boil water, cook food, soup, what have you. Um, this was $4.88 at Walmart. I just figured I wanted something to be able to cook in. Um, so I did pick this up today, and uh, that was the only addition that I didn't have because the other one I have is in my kit or else it would be the Stanley, but if you can see, that's way too big. Um, I did get some, uh, or get out my 50 SPF, a couple things of uh, facial uh, tissue, again, toilet paper, blow your nose, fire tinder, what have you. Um, I've got a jaw spreader here, and these things are good because, oh, there you go. If you can see is you plop this guy down inside your uh, the open mouth of your a clean canteen, make sure it is not insulated, and then you could find a way to hang this above a fire so that way you can, rather than some people just stick that right in the fire, but you know, you could also use this to hang right above. But that's a jaw spreader, usually you find it online and or in your fishing. Uh, wet ones, sometimes you need, you know, wipe something down with some moisture. So that's what that guy's about. Let me see here, what else have we got? Um, this is just a little added fire kit. I've got some matches in there, some cotton balls with Vaseline. There's a striker for the matches. Oops, fumble. Uh, this guy is, uh, it's got lighter fluid in it. And on the side here, let me just show you. Come here. And it's got a look where you can hook it. But if you can see, it's got a little ferro rod on the side. If you unscrew this, pull that out. It's got like a little wick on the end. So that way, uh, you just strike it on the side, and it's uh, actually kind of a like a match. But you know, fire redundancies. Got myself a big lighter. That is what that's about. Let's see what else we got here. Um, this is a uh, a saw. If you can kind of let me see if I can get it out here. One handed. I uh, keep this thing too because if you can kind of see that it's got the rings, the little saw cable on it for some small branches or what have you. If I needed to build a fire. Uh, I didn't want to carry like a SOG or something of that nature in this kit. As you can see, it would take up a lot of space, add some weight. So I figured, nope. Um, this is just a little cheap kind of survival -y thing that I picked up for like four or five bucks. I think I got it off of Geek. You can find them all over Amazon. It does have, uh, you know, temperature and barometric pressure and all that. Um, it, this little pin right here helps get some of these little tools out. Where is it? Uh, on the side here where it does have a survival whistle uh, that you can get out. So that's where I kind of use this because I like the survival whistle. Uh, signaling mirrors you can kind of see here. 
it does have a compass, a level, and then also a little magnifying glass. So as simple as it kind of seems, uh, you know, I figured it does have some useful stuff to it, and as small as it is, that why not throw it in the bag? Uh, some fire starter, that way it'll just kind of add to my fire kit here. I've got a couple smaller light sticks uh, with some string that came with them. The way, the way with these is uh, you can use them for signaling as you just tie it on the very end here and you can kind of swing it around you get a big arcing circle of light so that way you can be seen from overhead. Um, this little guy here is just kind of a protective case that I keep a little bit more. Uh, it's got a striker, some more matches, some tinder in there. Fire redundancy. Uh, kind of a Nesbit knockoff stove. It's got some fuel inside there. So, you know, this little guy doesn't take up much space. It's a good stove. Um, and plus when the fuel's out, you can also use it for tinder. And uh, hand and toe warmers. And just a inexpensive multi-tool. It's got another knife. It's got a saw on it. Um, I've got some others, but I liked the size. And also, too, is with the size of these, uh, the pliers, that if I do need to get that out of a fire, that out of a fire, uh, this kind of helps out. I do have a, you know, small little guy here, which I really kind of like. I think it's a Gerber. But, um, you know, again, it's a little smaller. You can see that's the one I kind of opted for. So at this point, that's kind of the, the stash that I have here. Uh, I can't, oh, I forgot to show these here too. If you can kind of see these little tablets, these are actually towels. They're compressed and with just a couple drops of water, they'll open up into a towel about almost like a foot 12 by 12. So that way to kind of help clean up, wash your face, wash your nether regions, what have you. But I knew I was missing something, but again, that's kind of what these are all about. If you can see, as I do have, you know, water, communication, some navigation, uh, medical, knife, light, uh, you know, ways to purify, gather and maintain and or boil water, a uh, small amount of food, uh, some other simple items. I forgot to mention, I've got a hank of 550 fire cord that also does have, you know, the inside that you can kind of uh, use for, you know, a variety of different items. Fire, 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 um, and a multi-tool. So this is again, just a 24 hour kind of a get home bag. I really do like this bag. I got it off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find it uh, and try to remember to put it in the description. Um, it does have, you know, ways for you to kind of, you know, cinch up keys and other items. But uh, if you want to know more about it, just let me know and I can give you the link. But uh, this is something that I just kind of threw together with some of the remnants that I had laying around. So I figured, well, why not make myself another kit that if I want to take when I go kayaking, I don't have to, you know, rob from one space uh, to use in another, or say if my son and I or my buddy and I are traveling, um, it's always good to have two things too, even though it's good to spread gear, uh, which I have that ability and I wanna do a video on what I call, you know, kind of modding, that I'll have like this scenario here, but if I'm worried about needing more uh, med, uh, medical supplies that I can link up to that because I like to get to where, you know, most of my items do have, you know, ways you can attach it through Molly, um, but, uh, or just to carry on your body. You know, like I said, I did here with this to have a shoulder strap for it. But, um, um, you know, I, I do have it to where if I wanted to, I could always, you know, grab myself a, a sleeping bag or, you know, wool blanket. I do have, you know, other items that I can kind of add. But um, basically that's it. Other than maybe using, uh, you know, if I had a concealed carry that a lot of times I'll have with me, um, that that could, you know, be part of my kit as well. But anyway, that's the items. Hope you guys liked it. And again, that, uh, you know, maybe kind of consider that once you've accumulated a bag or two or some items to having everything and, you know, kind of one place rather than some random drawers, because it's better to have it at the ready. It's not necessarily a bug out bag, because again, as I think most people would like to say that I plan on staying home. If not, I do have ways, which maybe I'll share in another video, how to put all this together. Um, quickly into a bug out scenario as you can kind of see as I've got this bag here you know with some modular attachments down there I've also got my backpacking bag and some other containers um, so that way as if I did need to create kind of a bug out bag scenario I could do that but again this was my remnant go bag 24 hour bag and uh, hope you like it and uh, thanks so much for watching and um, please leave comments below